Okay, guys were asking, uh, one of the questions was, what's the U.S. connection to all this training? And besides what I've been trying to do is obviously teach uh, American instructors and uh, certain units within the American military, but historically, the um, Shanghai Marines, the Expeditionary Force back in the 20s and 30s, learned this system from uh, Fairburn. Charlie Nelson was one of the famous instructors out of that group who settled into New York. Uh, during World War II, the Marine Force Raider Battalions were trained in this system um, by Pat O'Neill to a certain extent and Fairburn himself. The United States Navy's program was influenced by Fairburn. Uh, and, of course, uh, U.S. Rangers learned the system firstly at the Commando School in Scotland and later in the uh, Ranger Training Centers in New York. So, there's a very solid U.S. connection. Also, and for us Canadians is very proud, is our interconnection with the 1st Special Service Force. As you know, the unit was half made up of Canadians, half made up of Americans, and it was a very unique commander. So, we have a lot of connection here. The training from the 1st Special Service Force became part of the United States Green Berets, or Special Forces. Pat O'Neill taught one of the last programs in 1968 at Fort Benning to the Special Forces guys, so there's a very solid connection in that group. Uh, unfortunately, in modern terms, as those instructors retired out of the military, that link has been lost. So, and all we're trying to do is re-establish that link to those who are interested. So that's the U.S. connection. It's solid as hell.